All right, well, we are going to take this into a good amount of hip opening today. This is going to take us toward Firefly Pose or Teddy Boston, if you know the pose by that name. Um, and just keep in mind, this is going to take this take things very much into the inner thighs, the hamstrings, um, a good amount of hip opening, a good amount of compression work as well, and into the upper body. Yeah, it's going to be all around, so just keep that in mind. Um, I got two demonstrations before we start this. So the first thing, once we get to the main part of the flow, you're going to start this off in down dog. We're going to take this through a series of frog hops. Now, this is an to be all that aggressive but i want you to just hop this back and forth you can keep it down nice and low or you can take it up high but the big thing here is when you hop i want you to push in your hands right away press the floor away from you as much as you can and this is very much about using at least some arm strength and when you land come down on your toes with your heels lifted and bend the knees so you can land and be kind of springy so if you're going to take it low then take an inhale with the exhale just bend the knees look forward hop this forward land light and we'll just step it back and do it two more times we're doing it three times each round now if you want to take it up higher you can take it toward inversion now keep in mind you got to press down to the floor and you still want to land this as lightly as you can even though you're way way up above the floor so again take an inhale the cueing the same with the exhale bend the knees look forward hop this forward press down and again land this as lightly and as silently as you can we'll do that three times and after the third hop we'll move right into the flow from there so just work things as best you can whether you take it high or low now at the end of the sequence we're going to take this into crow and then we're going to go further with the arm balances and take this toward a half firefly and i really want you to take both poses here crow just for the balance here for a moment and then coming into that half firefly we're going to bring this into a flying lizard setup and the whole point is that you're going to wrap one of your legs around one of your arms and you're trying to get the inner thigh to really start to work and light up it's going to help you once we come toward the full post toward the end of class. So initially, the hands are going to be down. You'll just walk the feet in and just coming into curl. Lift your heels, bring the knees to your arms. Look forward, lean, take it slow and lift your feet together. Toes to touch, heels toward your seat. Try to keep your butt relatively high in the air and keep looking forward. After a couple breaths, we'll just step it down. And then from here, you're going to wrap one of your legs around one of your arms. So I'm going to wrap my left leg around my left arm. Left foot between my hands from the front. The right knee's coming to my right arm from behind. I'm going to lift the front foot first. Now you want to squeeze that leg around your arm and then look forward lean to lift the back foot you can always just stay right here and the whole point is to get into the inner thigh of that wrapped leg now if you want to take it even further and this took me a while to get into you can extend the front leg forward it took me about well it wasn't until about the last three years i was able to do this consistently and this is your half firefly from here now we'll take it through the vinyasa you can just step things back if you want to unwrap that leg and come up the curl you can take it back from there but just work it as best you can and see how far you want to go with things. We'll just take it to the vinyasa from that point, so keep that in mind. So all that said, let's go ahead and start in a seat. And get this started in a seat, I should say. That's going to be right leg in first, left leg in front. And just give yourself a moment to arrange this. Now, you can always take a more formal seated posture if you need to. But see that you can actually take your hands up off the floor and sit this upright without a whole lot of extra effort. And if your hips are tight, go ahead and slide the feet forward a little bit. Maybe bring the knees out wider. But either way, see your pelvis actually tilts forward. And then hold your spine upright. Stay engaged the midsection through the belly, around the low ribs. And lengthen out. So reach the top head toward the ceiling. Draw your chin in just a little bit. Feel the back of the neck get, neck get long. Relax your shoulders down. And just bring the fingertips down to the floor at your sides for stability here. Once you're ready, close your eyes. So just give yourself a moment to settle in like this. Let your mind quiet down. And then just start to deepen your breathing. So with the inhales, pulling as much as you can. Fill up your lungs. Hold on to all that breath at the top. When you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe. And just keep breathing like this to begin. Now when you're ready, take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, just open your eyes. Now set your hands down behind you, lean back, reverse the cross, bring the left leg in first, right leg in front. And again, arrange this so you can sit up tall. Take things slow with your next inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, hands down through heart center. 
Inhale, reach us up high again. Exhale, hands through center. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, through center again. Inhale, reach us up high. And with the exhale, lean to the right side. Right hand down, stretch your left arm right. Pull your left shoulder back, gaze up high here. With your next inhale, bring it back to center, reach up. And then with the exhale, lean left, left hand down, stretch your right arm left and gaze up high. With your next inhale, bring it back to center, reach up. And then with the exhale, just bring the hands down through center. And then down behind you, lean back, bring your feet to the floor, your feet down in front of you, I should say. And just go ahead, fold your knees side to side, loosen up a little bit. And then just bring this into center. Now keep your knees bent about 90 degrees. And come to the outside edges of the feet. So the feet are about hips width distance apart. Stay on the outside edge. Curl the toes and keep your feet tense. Sit this up tall. Now I take this back and forth, and this is going to be a much more active, much more aggressive forward fold. So why don't you bring your hands in front of your chest like you're holding on to a small watermelon. And then from here, bring the elbows up high, hands behind your head. And then like you're throwing it. Go ahead, fold forward, reach forward as far as you can. And then pull back and come back upright. Back and forth, elbows up high, hands behind. Fold forward, reach forward again. Draw back in, bring yourself up tall. Elbows up high, hands behind. Fold forward, reach forward, keep your feet tense. Pull back in and come back up. Elbows up high, hands behind. Fold forward, reach forward again. Take this in the inner thighs. Pull back up. Elbows up high, hands behind. Fold forward, reach forward again. And then come back up, back upright. Elbows up high, hands behind. Fold this forward, reach forward again. Draw yourself back upright. And then one more time, elbows up high, hands behind. Fold forward, reach forward again. Back up to your seat. And then once you're up from here, just bring the hands to the floor, cross your ankles in front of you. And then go ahead, come forward your hands. We'll take this into a bit of bridging. So I want you to keep your knees bound, but keep them a little bit wider than your hips. The big toes point toward each other, like, but like you're about to come into child's pose. Now bring yourself down to your heels, walk your hands back. And then keep your hands behind the shoulders, about shoulder width. Try to stay light and stay in your fingertips. And we're going to take this up and down. Now engage this properly. You need to kick into, into the floor and squeeze your glutes as you press hips up and the hips up and forward. And we'll take it back and forth like that. So kick into the floor, squeeze your glutes, press the hips up, let your head fall back. And then go ahead, bring everything down. With the next inhale, kick into the floor, squeeze your glutes and lift. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, kick into the floor, lift the hips up and forward again. Exhale, bring this down. Inhale, kick into the floor, lift this up. And then with the exhale, come back down. Inhale, kick into the floor, lift up and hold this time. Now keep kicking down, keep your glutes squeezing, let your head fall back. Try to take it further, hold this shape, but as you press into the floor, see about hovering your fingertips up off the mat. And then bring it back down. Now take it side to side. With your next inhale, sweep the right arm left. Open up, lift your hips. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, sweep your left arm right. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, bring this back down. Inhale, sweep your right arm left again. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, sweep your left arm right. And then with the exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, sweep your right arm left again. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, sweep your left arm right. And then with the exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, sweep your right arm left one more time. Hold here. Now keep kicking down. Let your head fall back and keep reaching. To take it further, stretch with that right arm. Keep your head back. Kick into the right foot. Try to hover your right knee up off the floor. And then bring it all back down. Take it the other way one more time. With your next inhale, sweep your left arm right. Open up here. And just hold. Stretch to the left arm. Keep your head back. Kick into the left foot. Try to lift your left knee up off the floor this time. And then bring it all back down. Once you're down, walk the hands forward, walk your knees back. And just come into all fours. Take a moment here, move around, stretch your hands. Stretch the fingers, let the shoulders and hips move side to side. And then go ahead, bring this into center, and let's take it, this into the wrist. So wrist the shoulders and knees underneath the hips are set up. With the palms facing down, rotate each hand, fingertips to the side, in toward the knees as far as you can go. And set your hands flat, spread the fingers out wide, grip your mat. Press your spine up toward the ceiling, keep your spine lifted. Now you can always just stay here and sway the shoulders side to side and that's good enough. But if you can take it further, 
And then keep gripping, keep your spine lifted, and just start to move the legs one at a time. Step your right foot forward outside the right hand, and then bring your right knee down. Left foot outside your left hand, and then set the knee back down. Right foot outside the right hand, again, keep gripping the floor, and then come back to center. Bring the left foot outside your left hand, and then bring the knee down. Now, right foot outside the right hand one more time. Now, with that right foot forward, just start to move the shoulders and hips side to side and maybe feel a little bit more of a stretch on the right inner thigh. And then bring it to center with the right knee on the floor. Other side, left foot forward outside your left hand. And just hold this. And again, just move the shoulders and hips side to side. Maybe find a deeper stretch on that left leg. And then bring the left knee back down. Now, once you got both knees down, come up onto the fingertips, walk the hands in close, probably within about one hand's length of your knees. And then flip your hands over, backs of the hands down, palms up, the fingertips point toward the midline. And then slide your hands together, interlace your fingers, but still keep the palms open. Now spread your fingers out wide, press the fingertips down, straight arms, press your spine up toward the ceiling. And just feel this out here. Now you can just hold this position, maybe sway your shoulders side to side. But if you can take it further, just go back and forth, flip your hands over, palms down. And then flip them again, the palms facing up. And just keep on switching this out back and forth. Now, each time you change positions, take a moment to re-engage. Spread your fingers wide, press the fingertips down, try to straighten your arms at least briefly each time. And then the next time you end up with the palms facing up, just hold that position. And as you hold this, keep your spine pressed up high, fingertips still pressing down. Now, if you want to take it further, shift the weight onto the right knee. Extend your left leg straight back and rotate your big toe out to the left to open up your hip. Keep that leg lifted. To take it further, pulse and lift that left foot higher on my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your left knee down. And we're going to take this into the other outer hip, and you're going to feel that a lot today. So go extend your right leg straight back. Rotate the right big toe out to the side to open up your hip. Keep the fingertips pressing down. And then pulses bring the right foot up higher. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right knee down. Now come up onto the fingertips, down to sitting on your heels, and take a moment. Shake your hands out. Loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. And then once the hands are ready, come back to all fours. Now from all fours, we're actually going to take it down lower. So bring yourself onto your forearms and come into a forearm plank. Step your feet all the way back and keep your feet about hips with distance apart. Tuck your toes and bring the hips in line with your shoulders and heels. Now once you find that shape, take a side plank, roll your heels to the right, come up onto your left hand. And just keep your hips lifted as you open up to the side. You can keep that left hand down if you like. Now if you want to move with this, reach your left arm past your head, lengthen out further. And let's take it back and forth from here. So take an inhale. With the exhale, sink your hips down and reach toward your feet. Inhale, lift up and reach. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, lift up and reach. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, lift up and reach. And then with the exhale, lower one more time. Inhale, lift up and reach. Stay lifted. Come back into center, into that forearm plank. And then take it on the other side. Roll your heels left, come up onto the right hand. And maybe just stay here with the hips lifted. If you're going to go further, reach the right arm past your head. And then to move, take an inhale. And with the exhale, sink your hips down and reach toward your feet. Inhale, lift up and reach. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift up and reach again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift up and reach. And then with the exhale, lower one more time. Inhale, lift up and reach. Come back into center, back to your forearm plank. And then go set your knees down. Come up onto your hands and just breathe. That's just an intermission. We're not done with that forearm plank. I just don't want to kill anybody here. So when you're ready, come back down onto your forearms. And then when you're down, step your feet back. Find that forearm plank again, this time with your legs squeezed together. And bring your body into line. Now, the right forearm's your base. When you take that side plank, roll your heels to the right, stack your legs, come up onto your left hand. Keep your hips lifted to stay open to your left side, and this is good enough right here. Now, if you want to make it harder, you can reach the left arm high. And if you want to move with this, lift the left leg off the right, keep your hips lifted. Bend your left knee, point that knee toward the ceiling. Back and forth with that left leg, dip the big toe down behind you. Lift the knee, big toe down behind. Lift the knee, big toe down behind. Lift the knee. Big toe down behind. Lift the knee. 
Big toe down behind. Lift the knee. Big toe down behind. Now lift the knee one more time. And then come back into center, back to that forearm plank. And of course, we've got to take the other side. So roll your heels left this time. Come up onto your right hand. And you can just stay here with the right hand down. If you want to make it harder, reach your right arm high. And if you're going to move with this, lift the right leg off the left, bend the knee, point it toward the ceiling. And then just moving that right leg, big toe down behind you. Lift the knee, big toe down behind. 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 Lift the knee one more time. Come back to center, back to that forearm plank. And then go set your knees down and come back up onto your hands. Take a moment here to breathe. Now from all fours, when you're ready, tuck the toes behind you. And then lift your knees, walk your hands back and come to a deep squat at the back of the mat. So feet flat, heels in, toes out, feet probably hips with distance or wider. And just bring your hips down low at least toward the level of the knees, especially if your hips are tight. Now if you're able to take it down further with the heels still down, just find your depth. And you can always just play with the details of the position. Maybe the feet are wider, maybe narrower, maybe you're taking to angle your feet. But just bring it down low. And then from here we're going to move back and forth. The toes stay where they are. So bring your fingertips down to the floor in front of you. And then walk this out. Lengthen out your body, touching knees down to the mat. And then walk it back in. Set your heels down. Come back to the squat. Again, walk this forward. Stretch this out. Knees touch down. Walk back in and come back down onto your heels. Now this time, walk it out to the right side. Stretch it out. Knees touch down. And then come back into center. Set your heels. And then walk it out to the left side. Knees to the floor. And then bring it back into center. Walk it out over to the right again. And then back to center here. Heels down. And then walk this over to the left side again. And then bring this back into center. Now over to the right one more time. Knees touch down. Come back to center. Set your heels. And then one more time over to the left side. And then bring it back to center one more time. And then when you're ready, just walk your hands forward. Come back to all fours. And once you're in all fours again, take a moment here to breathe. And then before we move on from this portion of the class here, we're working some compression. So let's take this into a baby crow. So from all fours, come down from the hands onto the forearms. Let's keep the forearms parallel. And keep the elbows underneath your shoulders here to start. Now grip the floor with your fingers. Tuck the toes of both feet. And then lift your knees, bring your hips up high. Now keep your knees bent, keep your heels lifted, but walk your feet in and curl your body up as tightly as you can into a ball. Target the knees for the armpits and you want to at least touch the knees to the upper arms. Now if you can find that contact, look forward, start to lean and see about lifting your feet up off the floor. Your face will be very close to the mat. And then from wherever you are, just set everything down and come back into all fours. And once you're in all fours, just move around, loop some things up. And give yourself a moment here to breathe. You can always stay here and breathe. You can take another stretch before you move on. But whenever you're ready, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips. And find your downward facing dog. Now once you move into down dog, take a look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Press your palms down flat so you can feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. And then sink your chest down low. As your chest sinks down, press your hips up high and keep your hips reaching up toward the ceiling like this. And just breathe through this. Try to keep the upper body in one long line. Now tense up your core, pull through the belly, around the lower ribs. Try to stretch your spine longer to reach your hips up high. And if your legs are tight, just go ahead, bend the knees and let that go. You can always just pedal this out and let your hips move side to side and stay loose. When you're ready, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees. Look forward, step to the front, let's take a ragdoll fold. So feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees. Now let your belly touch your thighs, let your head hang, let your spine round. And just let everything go long and loose here, let the muscles of your neck relax. You can hang your hands to the floor, you can reach to opposite elbows if you like, and maybe shake this side to side to loosen further. And then whenever you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin. But restack your spine. So slowly round this up to stand and bring your head up last. And then just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready here, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Take a moment to breathe. Set an intention. Let your mind clear. Find your focus. Take a deep inhale. 
And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now with the next inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. So hinge at the hips, start with a straight spine, put a little bend in the knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly, and then just release this at the bottom. Now with an inhale, lift it up halfway, fingertips to the floor or to your shins, lengthen forward through the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat and let's step it back to high plank. Find your shape, bristling the shoulders, palms pressed to the floor, press the floor away from you and press your spine up toward the ceiling, keep that lift. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring your shoulders forward as your elbows bend. Now keep your body in line. Elbows pulled into your sides and lower with control all the way down into your belly. Once you're down, flatten the feet out behind you. Hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. And let's take it up and down through low cobra. So with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck, and chest. Exhale, roll it back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time and stay lifted this time. Now keep the lift in the upper body, press into your feet, take some more all the weight out of your hands, elbows to your sides, pull the shoulders back, keep your gaze forward, and maybe lift this up a little bit higher still. Take an inhale. Exhale, roll back down. Hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides, press into your palms. Let's take it up with facing dogs. So with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward, let your hips hang, stay on the top of your feet. Keep your legs active, work to lift your knees up from the mat. To take it further, kick your feet down, squeeze your glutes, pull the hips forward to deepen the arc. Now lift with the arms, lift with your shoulders, keep your neck long, keep your chest pulling forward. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, pull the belly in, hips up out of down dog. Paddle out here, let your hips move side to side. And let's take it through the sun salutations here, steady movement, take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float to the front. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, reach the arms up high. And with the exhale, fold all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift. And then with the exhale, hands to the mat, chaturangas, next high plank to low. With an inhale, open up your chest, lift your gaze, upward facing dog or cobra. And then with the exhale, pull the belly in. And bring your hips up out of down dog. Two more rounds. Keep it steady. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward. Step or float. Inhale. Lift halfway up. Exhale. Fold it down. Inhale to standing. Reach up high. And then with the exhale, fold. All the way back down again. Inhale. Halfway lift here. And with the exhale, hands to the floor. High plank the loaves next. With an inhale, open up. Draw this forward. Exhale, pull it back in and bring your hips back up. One last time, take an inhale. And with the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift it halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, reach up high. Exhale, all the way down again. Inhale, halfway lift here. And then with the exhale, set the hands, chaturanga. Now with an inhale, open up, pull forward. Exhale, draw it back in. Bring your hips back up. Find your downward facing dog and breathe here. Now from your down dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. And move into your scorpion dog. So bend the right knee, hang the right foot left, let your body twist. With the next inhale, straighten the right leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders or wrist, stay forward. And then as best you can, right big toe toward the right wrist. And step it back, down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. And then with the exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders or wrist, stay forward. As best you can, left big toe toward the left wrist. Step it back, down dog. Now from your down dog to those frog hops, you can get, take it up high or low, but land lightly and land on your toes. It's going to be three. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward, land light. And then step it back, hips up high. Two more times, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop it forward. And then step it back, hips up high. One more time, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward. And this time, stay at the front. Now, the left foot's your base. Step it down between your hands. Right knee to your chest, round your spine. Take hold of the right knee. And let's bring this all the way up to vertical. 
Now once you're up, just take a moment and slow your breathing down. And then once you're ready, just keep your left hand holding the right knee and reach your right arm straight forward. Now we'll work this as a twist. I want you to keep your gaze forward the whole time and just work that twist with your right arm. So reach your right arm down to the floor, just take it slow. And then reach all the way back, draw that right shoulder back, open up your chest to the right. And then reach your right hand back down to the floor. And then forward and square your chest forward. Again, bring the right hand down. Reach behind, open up your chest to the right side. And then bring the right hand back down. And reach straight, straight forward, square the shoulders. One more time, right arm down. Reach behind, take it slow, take the twist. And keep your gaze forward, keep breathing here. You can still hold the right knee with the left hand or reach for the right big toe. And if you got that grip, maybe pull the knee up higher, maybe extend the leg forward. Now slowly, from that twist, take a half bind right on behind your back palm, face away. And then square your shoulders forward, right knee lifted, left hand comes to meet the right. Now shoulders pulled back, elbows out wide, switch your stance, bring the right foot down, come to standing with your left knee high. And then once you balance on your right foot, let's take it to a warrior three. Put a little bend on the right knee, hinge from the right hip, and extend the left leg back. Now you can stay more upright and that's fine, just keep your lifted body in line. If you can take it deeper, bring yourself down toward power off the floor and keep your hips squared. Now either way, shoulders pulled back, keep looking forward. And then just work this with your right leg, keep everything else in line. So bend your right knee, left big toe comes down to touch the floor. Press into your right foot, come back to your warrior three. Again, bend the right knee, bring your left big toe down. Press into the right foot and lift back to that warrior three. One more time, bend the right knee, bring the left big toe down to the floor, hover here. And then slowly start to slide that left foot back and find your high lunge stance. So tuck the toes of the left foot deep under the right knee. Give yourself a moment to adjust. Left hip forward, right hip back. Your stance is squared. Feet on two separate tracks. Keep the shoulders pulled back. Keep your chest open. Keep looking forward. And let's take this into the back leg. So when you're ready, take an inhale. And with the exhale, dip that left knee down low. Now inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower again. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower, and hold this time. Just hover the knee above the floor. Stay tall through your spine. Keep your shoulders pulled back. And then pulse into that back knee on my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left knee down. Left foot flat behind. Keep your hips stacked over the right knee. And keep your hips squared. But slide the right foot forward and keep it flat. Now we're going to go back and forth from this upright position to a half split. So when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, fold forward, bow to the right thigh, reach back, and lift the toes of your right foot, point them up toward the ceiling. Back and forth, inhale, bring this upright, set the right foot flat. Exhale, fold, bow to the right thigh, and lift the toes. Inhale, lift this back up. Exhale, bring it down, bow to your right thigh. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold, belly to your thigh. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, down, bow to the right thigh again. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, fold, bow to the right thigh, hold here, stay folded. Now take your twist, right on behind your back, half bind, left hand to the floor inside the right leg. Lift the right shoulder, open up your chest to the right, and keep your belly touching your thigh. Now, you can slide that right foot further out, maybe rotate the big toe towards center. If you want to go deeper, go ahead, bring the left forearm all the way down, right shoulder still high. And if you can do all that and want to take it further, maybe tuck the toes of the left foot and lift the left knee up off the floor, but just breathe here. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, come up onto both hands around that right leg. Set your right foot flat, tuck the toes of the left foot, lift your left knee, come into low lunge. And then from your low lunge, we take it to side plank, so the left hand's your base. Now roll to the outside edge of the left foot, slide the right foot back. Now you can keep the right foot down or drop the left knee down or stack the legs. But keep your hips up high, reach your right arm high and look up toward the ceiling. Maybe just stay here. If you want to move, lift the right leg off the left, bend the knee, point it toward the ceiling. And back and forth with that right leg. Big toe down behind you. Lift the knee. Big toe down behind. 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 One more time. Lift the knee. And then come to center to full plank, both hands and feet. Now press into your palms. Walk the feet forward. Hips up high. And let's take this right in the crow. Dig your fingertips down. Lift your heels. Bring the knees to touch your arms. Now look forward. Lean forward. Just go slow. And lift your feet together. Keep gripping. Toes to touch. Heels to your seat. Take it to where you can. 
and then bring your feet back down. Let's take this to the half fire flag. Now the right leg wraps around your right arm. Right foot between your hands from the front. Left knee to your left arm from behind. Now lift your right foot first and squeeze the right arm. Look forward, lean forward, lift your left foot, and maybe just stay here but keep the right leg squeezing. Now if you want to go further, start to extend that right leg forward. Just take things to where you can. And then when you're ready, step it back, fly it back, take it to your vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, take a moment, paddle out. Now let's take all that to the other side. With your next inhale, raise your left leg high. With your left leg lift, lifted, open to your scorpion dog. Bend your left knee, hang your left foot right. And just let your hip open up. On your next inhale, straighten the left leg through like a dog. Exhale forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrist. Stay forward. Now as best you can, left big toe toward the left wrist. And then step it back down, dog. Now inhale your right leg high. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrist. Stay forward. As best you can, right big toe toward the right wrist. Step it back, down dog. Now from here to those frog hops again, there's going to be three. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward. Step it back, hips up high. Two more times, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward. Step it back again, hips high. One more time, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward. And this time, stay at the front. Now, the left foot's your base. Set it down between your hands. Right knee to your chest, round your spine. Actually, it's the wrong one. Right foot's your base. Left knee to your chest, round your spine. Now, take hold of your left knee. And let's bring this all the way up to vertical. Now, take a moment. Slow the breathing down and press into the right big toe. And then once you're ready, just keep your gaze forward. With the right hand, keep hold of the left knee. And then reach your left arm straight forward. Now, again, keep your gaze forward and just work the twist with that left arm. So reach your left hand down toward the floor, and then reach back and let your chest open up to the left side. Bring the left hand back down. Reach forward and square the shoulders forward. Again, like that, reach your left hand down. And then reach behind. Let your chest open up to the side. Left hand comes back down. Reach it forward again. One more time. Bring the left hand down. Reach this all the way up behind. Open up your chest. Now you can just stay here and hold the right left knee with your right hand, or maybe take hold of the left big toe. You can lift the knee up higher with that grip, or extend the leg further. Now as you hold the twist from wherever you are, just bring the left arm behind your back half bind. Keep that shoulder pulled back for the moment. And then go ahead and release any grip you have. Ooh, left knee lifted, right hand to the right hip to start. And then right hand comes back to meet the left. Once you're ready to set the left foot down, bring yourself to standing with your right knee high. Just find your balance here. Now keep your chest open, shoulders pulled back. When you're ready, take this to your warrior three. Put a little bit on the left knee. Hinge from the left hip, extend the right leg straight back. Bring everything into line and keep your hips squared. Now maybe more upright, maybe more toward parallel with the floor, but keep looking forward. Now from wherever you are, just work this with your left leg. So bend your left knee, bring the right big toe down to the floor. Press into your left foot, come back up. Again, bend your left knee, bring that right big toe down low. Press into your left foot, come back up. One more time, bend the left knee, bring the right big toe down just above the floor. And then slowly slide the right foot back, find your high lunge stance. Now deep bend the left knee, right leg towards straight, take a moment just to adjust your stance. Right hip forward, left hip back, keep your spine tall. And let's take it into the back leg, take an inhale. And with the exhale, dip low into that right knee. Now inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, lower again. Inhale, straighten. Now with the exhale, lower one more time and hover here just above the floor. Keep your shoulders pulled back. And then pulse into that back leg on my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right knee down. Right foot flat behind. Now keep everything stacked to vertical over the right knee. And keep your hips squared. But slide that left foot forward and keep it flat. Now again, back and forth from here to that half split. When you're ready with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And exhale, fold forward, reach behind, belt to the left thigh, and lift the toes of your left foot. Inhale, come back up, set the left foot flat. Exhale, fold, belt to your thigh, bring it down low. Inhale, come back up again. 
Exhale, fold down, belly to your left thigh. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold this down. Inhale, up one more time. Exhale, back to that half split. Belly to your left thigh, stay here. Now go ahead and set the right hand down inside your left leg, half bind with that left arm, bring it behind your back, and draw the left shoulder back, but keep your belly touching the left thigh. Now you can slide that left foot further forward, maybe rotate the big toe towards center. And this can be good enough right here. If you can take it further, you can bring the right elbow down to the floor. And if you can do all that, want to take it further, you can tuck the toes with the right foot and maybe lift your right knee up off the mat. But hold your shape and keep your belly touching that left thigh. Keep breathing here. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, come up onto both hands around that left leg. Set your left foot flat, tuck the toes of the right foot, and lift your right knee. Find low lunge. From your little lunge, let's take it to side plank on this side. Right hand's your base. Now roll to the outside edge of the right foot, slide the left foot back. And take the, the version that works. You can keep the left foot down, bring the right knee down, or stack the legs. Now hips up high, left arm high, maybe stay here, gaze up high. If you're going to go further, lift the left leg off the right, bend the knee point up toward the ceiling. And then take it back and forth, big toe down behind. Lift the knee. 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 Big toe down behind. One more time. And then lift back up. Now roll into center. Both hands and feet full plank. And then walk your feet forward. Hips up high. Let's take it right into crow. Press into your palms. Dig into the fingertips. Lift your heels. And bring your knees to touch your arms. Now look forward. Lean forward. Just go slow. And let your feet lift together. Toes to touch. Heels to your seat. Take this to where you can. And then go ahead and set your feet down. And let's take that half firefly. So left leg around your left arm. Left foot between your hands from the front. Right knee goes to the right arm from behind. And then lift your left foot first and squeeze that left arm. Look forward, lean forward, lift your right foot. Maybe just stay right here, but keep the left leg squeezing. And if you want to go further, go ahead and extend that left leg more fully. When you're ready, take it through another vinyasa. Step it back, fly it back, whatever you like. And we'll meet in down dog. Now, once you find your down dog, take a moment here, paddle out and breathe. And then when you're ready, with an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders, wrist, stay forward. As best you can, right big toe to the right wrist. Step it back, down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, forward, knee to chest, shoulders, wrist, stay forward. As best you can, left big toe to left wrist. Step it back, down dog. From your down dog to those frog hops, take an inhale. And with the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop it forward. Step it back, hips up high. Two more times, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop this forward. And then step it back, hips high. One more time, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop it forward. And this time, stay at the front. Now, left foot to your base, set it down between your hands, right knee to your chest, round your spine. Take hold of your right knee, and let's bring this all the way up again. Once you're up, just take a moment, slow your breathing down. Woo, see if I got my balance here. Dig into that left big toe. And then once you're ready, hands your hips. Bring the right knee down to meet the left. Now we're going to take this into dancer. So reach back with your right hand, find the inside edge of your right foot. Once you've got that grip, just kick in your hand, line up your knees, stay tall. Just keep the left hand at your hip and keep your gaze forward. Now we're going to take this back and forth. Put just a little bit on your left knee. But then hinge from the left hip. Bring your torso forward. Be sure that right knee lifts behind and keep your gaze forward. Just take this as low as you can. And then hinge back up to vertical. And bring the knees side by side. Again like that. Hinge from the left hip. Torso forward as the right knee lifts behind. And then hinge back up toward vertical. And bring the knees back into line. One more time. Hinge from the left hip. Bring your chest forward. Be sure that right knee is lifting. Try to keep looking forward the whole time. Come back up to vertical. Release your grip. Hands to your hips with the right knee lifted for just a moment. And then set that foot down. Bring yourself up to standing with your left knee high. Now once you've got your balance here, take a half bind. Left arm behind your back, palm facing away. Keep that shoulder drawn back. Right arm reaches forward. But then reach the right arm down. 
Now open this up to the side. So bring your left knee out to the left side. Stay open like this. Extend the left leg back. Stay balanced on your right foot and just keep your body in a diagonal line here. Left shoulder back, left hip pulled back and keep looking forward. Now work this with your right leg. Bend the right knee. Dip the left big toe down toward the floor. Press into your right foot. Come back up and stay open to the side. Bend the right knee. Dip that left big toe down. Press into the right foot. Come back up. One more time. Bend the right knee. Dip your left big toe down. Now hover here. And then slowly slide that left foot back and open this up to a warrior two stance to keep the half bind. Deep bend to the right knee, straight left leg. One line from the front heel to the back arch. Lengthen out as much as you need to. Let the hips sink down low. Keep the left shoulder pulled back. Reach your right arm forward and open up that palm toward the ceiling. Now take it back and forth. Inhale, reverse. Reach back, lean back. Gaze up high. Exhale, extend this forward. Keep looking up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend forward one more time. Stay here. And now you can rest the right arm on the right leg or bring the right hand to the floor inside the right leg or reach underneath and find the full bind. Now, however far you go, keep your left shoulder high and keep looking up toward the ceiling. Just breathe here. Stay open to the side. Now take an inhale, and then with the exhale, slowly bring your torso up, right hands to your hips. Turn that right foot towards center. You're still open toward the side of the mat. Now we'll take this into a straddle stance. Heels in, toes out. Keep your legs straight, and you go wide or narrow with your feet, whatever your hips allow. But then bring your hands to your low back. Interlace the fingers, pull the palms together, draw your shoulders back, and keep your chest open. Now back and forth, take an inhale here. With the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest. Go ahead, fold down as deep as you like. And then with your next inhale, bring this all the way upright. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Again, hinge from the hips. Bring it forward. Lead with your chest. Take it down low. And then with your next inhale, come all the way back upright. Now one more time. Hinge from the hips. Lead with your chest. Just take this down as low as you like and just hold the fold. Now you can just stay loose around your spine, hang your head toward the floor. That's fine. Maybe reach your head toward the floor and make it more active. And if you want to take this further, you can lift your hands from away from your back and stretch out the shoulders as well. But just breathe here. Now at the next inhale, just lift your torso up halfway. Engage your core. Extend the crown of the head forward. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Keep your chest facing down. And then let's take this down side to side to deepen the left knee. As you sink down, lift the toes of the right foot. And then just come back to center still with that halfway fold. Now deep bend to the right knee. Lift the toes of the left foot as you sink down. Bring it back to center, chest still facing the floor. Deep bend the left knee. Lift the toes of the right foot. Sink down low. And then bring it back to center here. Deep bend to the right knee. Lift the toes of the left foot as you sink down. And then come back into center. One more time. Deep bend left knee. Come down low. Hold here. Now the toes of the right foot point up, your chest is still facing down. You can slide that right heel further out if you like, but stay low inside the left thigh. Maybe lift the knuckles away from your back and stretch the shoulders again, but just breathe. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down to the floor inside that left leg. Press into your palms. Take this into Skandasana. Lift the left heel and sit on that left heel. Right leg still extends to the front. Toes pointed up. Rotate the toes toward your midline a little bit. And walk your hands in close and sit this more upright. Now you can just stay like this and this is fine. But if you want to work your balance, then take this to an archer configuration. Left hand becomes a fist. Bring it behind your left ear. Left elbow back like you're drawing back on the bowstring. And then with the right hand like you're holding the bow, make that hand to a fist and reach that right arm forward. Now pull your shoulder blades toward each other, open up your chest, and aggressively press down into both feet to keep your balance here. Keep breathing. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring both hands down. Walk your hands to the front. Come into low lunge with the right foot between your hands. And from here, let's take it to side plank, left hands your base. Roll to the outside edge, left foot side, the right foot back. You can have the right foot down or the left knee down or stack your legs. But keep your hips up high, reach your right arm high. And maybe just stay here. If you're going to go further, lift the right leg. Bend the knee, point it toward the ceiling. Back and forth, big toe down behind. Lift the knee, big toe down behind. Lift the knee, big toe down behind. Lift the knee. Big toe down behind. 
Lift the knee. Big toe down behind. Lift the knee one more time. Roll into center. Full plank, both hands and feet. And then walk your feet forward, hips up high. Let's take it to crow. So press in your palms, dig into the fingertips, lift your heels. Bring the knees to touch your arms. Look forward, lean forward, go slow. And then lean forward to lift your feet together. Toes to touch, heels to your seat. Take that to where you can. And then bring your feet down. Let's set it up for half firefly. So right leg around your right arm. Right foot between your hands on the front. Left knee to your left arm from behind, just like crow. Now lift the right foot first. Lean forward to lift your left foot as well. And maybe just stay like this. If you're ready to take it further, extend that right leg forward. But just take things the way you can. And then take it through another vinyasa when you're ready. Once you're coming to your down dog, take a moment here, paddle that. And let's even all that out on the other side. So when you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, bring it forward. Knee to chest, shoulders to wrist. Stay forward. As best you can, left big toe toward the left, left wrist. Step it back down, dog. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, forward. Knee to chest, shoulders to wrist. Hold. As best you can, right big toe toward the right wrist. Step it back down, dog. From here to the frog hops, one last round. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop it forward. And then step it back, hips up high. Two more times, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward. And then step it back, hips high. One last time, super light, silent if you can. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward. And this time, stay at the front. Now, the left foot's your base. Is it the left foot? Now the right foot's your base. Set it down between your hands. There we go. Left knee to your chest around your spine. I almost missed that up. Take hold of your left knee. And let's bring this all the way up to vertical. Once you're up, slow your breathing down. Just press into that right big toe. And then when you're ready, hands to your hips. Line the left knee up with the right. And let's take this into that dancer grip. Then reach your left hand back. Find the inside of your left foot. Once you have the grip line up your knees, keep the right hand on your hip. Now keep looking forward. Just take it back and forth to where you can. Pull it by the right knee. Hinge from the right hip. Bring your torso forward. As that left knee lifts behind, keep looking forward. And then hinge back up to vertical. Knees side by side. Again, like that, hinge forward. Bring your torso forward. As that left knee lifts, keep looking forward. And then bring it back up to vertical. Knees side by side. One more time. Hinge from the right hip. Lift that left knee up behind you. And then one more time, bring it back up the vertical. Knees side by side. Hands, hips, lift that left knee for just a moment. And then switch it out with your left foot down. And bring yourself to standing with your right knee high. Now once you find your balance here, take a half bind. Right on behind your back palm face. When you keep that shoulder pulled back. Reach your left arm forward, but then reach it down. Now open up to the side. Right knee out to the right. Extend your right leg back. Stay balanced on that left foot. And just keep the right shoulder and right hip stacked above the left. Keep your gaze forward. Now back and forth with that left leg. Bend your left knee. Dip the right big toe down to the floor. Press into your left foot. Come back up. Stay open to the side. Bend your left knee. Bring the right big toe down again. Press into the left foot. Come back up. One more time. Bend your left knee. Dip the right big toe down. Stay here and hover. And then when you're ready, slide that right foot back slowly. Take it into your warrior two stance again. Deep bend left knee, right leg straight. One line from the front heel to the back arch. Right arm bound, pull that shoulder back, but reach your left arm forward, open the palm up toward the ceiling. And let's take it back and forth. Inhale, reverse. Reach back, lean back, gaze up high. Exhale, extend it forward, keep looking up. Inhale, reverse this. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Now, inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend forward one more time, stay here. Now you can rest the left arm on your left leg, or bring the left hand to the floor inside the leg, or reach underneath the left leg and find the full bind, but keep the right shoulder high, look up toward the ceiling, and just breathe here, however, for, however low you take this. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, hands, the hips, bring your torso up, right? And turn the left foot in so it's in line with the right. Everything's still open to the right side of the mat. 
Now find your straddle stance. Heels in, toes out, both legs straight. You can go wider or narrow with your feet. But then bring your hands to your low back, find the grip of feel strained. Interlace your fingers, pull the palms together, draw your shoulders back and keep your chest open. Take it back and forth here, take an inhale. With the exhale, lead with your chest, hinge from the hips, and fold this down as low as you like. Inhale, bring it back up all the way, keep the shoulders pulled back. And then with the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, come back down again. With your next inhale, bring this all the way upright one more time. And then with the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest. Take it down low and just hold the fold. Now you can just round your spine, hang your head good enough. Or reach the top of the head toward the floor and make it more active. Or maybe even lift the arms away from your back and stretch the shoulders out again. Breathe here. Now at the next inhale, slowly lift yourself up halfway. Keep your torso pedal to the floor and keep your core braced. Shoulders stay pulled back. Now take it back and forth. Bend deep into the right knee. Lift the toes of your left foot as you sink down. And then come back into center. Keep your chest facing the floor. Bend your left knee. Sink to the side and lift the toes of the right foot up. Come back into center. Deep under the right knee. Lift the toes of the left foot. Sink this down again. Back to center here. Deep bend left knee. Lift the toes of the right foot. And then come back to center. One more time. Deep under the right knee. Lift the toes of the left foot again. Stay low. Now keep your chest facing down. You can slide that left heel further out. Maybe lift your knuckles toward the ceiling, but stay low inside that right leg and just breathe. Now take an inhale. And now with the exhale, bring both hands down inside the right leg. Now lift the right heel, come into this version of Skandasana. So come to seated on that right heel. The left leg still extended to the front with the toes pointed up. But then walk your hands in and sit this up tall. Now maybe stay like this and this is fine. Dig into that left heel. If you want the archer configuration, right hand's a fist. Bring it behind the right ear this time with the right elbow back on as you're drawing on the bowstring. Left arm like you're holding the bow. Make that hand to a fist and reach the arm forward. Shoulder blades toward each other. Open your chest as much as you can and press hard into both feet. Keep your body tense and keep your balance. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Walk your hands forward. Take into low lunge, hands around that left foot. Now from your low lunge, just find side plank one more time. Right hand's your base. Roll to the outside edge of the right foot. This time slide your left foot back. You can keep the left foot down, bring the right knee down, or stack the legs, left arm high. Hips stay lifted. Now if you're going to take it further, lift the left leg, bend the knee, point it toward the ceiling, and then go back and forth. Big toe down behind you. Lift the knee. Big toe down behind. Lift the knee. Big toe down behind. Lift the knee, big toe down behind. Lift the knee, big toe down behind. Lift the knee, big toe down behind. And lift one more time. Now come into center, full plank, both hands and feet. And then walk your feet forward, hips up high. Let's take the curl one last time. Press into your palms, dig into the fingertips. Lift your heels and bring the knees to your arms. Now look forward, lean forward, just go slow. And lift the feet together, toes to touch, heels to your seat. And then set the feet down. Let's take half firefly here. Left leg around your left arm. Left foot between your hands from the front. Right knee goes to the right arm from behind. And then lift your left foot, squeeze the left arm. Look forward, lean forward, and lift the right foot as well. Maybe just stay here and keep that left leg squeezing. If you want to go further, you can extend that left leg as well. And then when you're ready, just go ahead, step it back, fly it back. Take your last vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, take a moment, hit paddle out. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees, bring them down to the floor. And then come all the way down onto your belly. Now once you're down, I want to take this to a half bow variation. So lay the right arm, reach the right arm forward, and lay the left arm down at your side. Now bend the right elbow, set forearms parallel to the front. Bend your right knee, reach back with the left hand, and find your right foot. Now, once you're ready, with an inhale, lift your head, neck, and chest, look forward, and focus on the right arm. Press into the floor, pull your chest forward. Now, kick into your left foot and pull that left shoulder forward to lift your right knee, and then kick the left foot into the floor, bring the weight further forward toward your belly. Keep breathing here and keep open up, opening up your chest. Stay lifted. Take 
take an inhale. With the exhale, bring this down. Switch it out. Chin to the mat. Right arm at your side. Left arm reaches forward. Bend your left elbow forearm power to the front. Bend your left knee. You reach back with the right hand. Find your left foot. Now, when you're ready, with an inhale, lift your head, neck, and chest and look forward. Press that left arm to the floor. Pull your chest forward. Top of that reaches toward the ceiling. Kick into the right hand and pull that right shoulder forward to lift the left knee higher. Now, kick the right foot down. Bring the weight forward toward your belly and just breathe here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring it all back down. Now, chin to the mat, both arms down at your sides. Let's take the full pose. Bend into both knees, reach back with both hands, and find your grip. Now, it's going to be easier to take the hold of the outside edges of the feet. If you want more of a shoulder opener, go ahead and reach for the inside edge, whatever you can actually hold on to. Now, when you're ready with an inhale, lift your head, neck, and chest, and look forward. And then kick in your hands. Draw the shoulders forward to bring the knees up higher. As the knees lift, squeeze them toward each other, not too much wider than hips width. Bring the weight forward toward your belly. Keep opening up your chest and keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, bring this back down. Arms at your sides. You can windshield wipe your legs side to side. And then go ahead and set your feet down. Now, once you're ready, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, pull your belly in. Press up to all fours. And then we're taking it right into Firefly from here. So do this with me. Let's start this from a wide-legged forward fold. So come up onto your feet, but keep the hands down. And just set this up. Feet wider than your hips. Heels and toes out. Keep your knees bent and stay loose. Now keep your hips up high and your head down low. And then to come into the deep forward fold, you're going to walk your hands back between your legs. Now, keep your fingertips pointed forward if you can. If you need to back off from the wrist, you can always rotate 90 degrees right or left. Try not to rotate any further out than that. But once you're ready, walk your hands back between your legs, pull your torso down between your thighs, and draw down as much as you can. You're trying to get the shoulders between your knees. Now just look straight down once you can't fold anymore. All at once, set the palms flat, bend the elbows, sit on your arms, and squeeze the knees in toward your shoulders. Now keep your chest facing down. Just hold here. And if your butt's on the floor, you've got to do it all over again. But if, you can, if you're still lifted, see about bringing the feet together. And maybe take this to the arm pressure pose. So you hook at the ankles. And use that hook to help the legs squeeze in. And this is what keeps you balanced. Now if you can keep that tension on the inner thighs, maybe take Firefly. So you can release the feet from each other. Point your toes forward. Extend the legs as much as you can. They don't have to be perfectly straight. But your inner thighs have to work to keep you lifted. And then from wherever you are, go ahead and set yourself down and come to a seat. Now we'll take one more entry here from seated and just work this as best you can. Even if you know you're not going to lift, it's a good hip opener. and That's the whole point of coming into this. Keep in mind. So just keep the knees wide, sit up tall, and then bring the right leg over your right arm. Now work it up as high as you can. You're trying to get the knee behind the shoulder. Just get as close as you're going to get today. And then press the right arm into the right leg. Bring your hand to the floor to keep that leg hooked. Now left arm underneath your left leg and just work it up the arm as much as you can. And then bring that left hand down as well. Now with your arms bracing against your legs, try to fold a little bit deeper and just rock back and forth, lifting and lowering off the hands. And then here's how we're going to go. So I'm going to count to three. And then on three, I want you to shoot your toes forward, straighten your legs, and squeeze the inner thighs in. And that's what's going to lift your butt up off the floor. So give it a try. So from here, one, two, on three, shoot your toes forward, squeeze the legs in, and see if you can find that lift. If you can't, still get a hip opener, keep in mind. All right, when you're ready, bring everything back down and come back to your seat. And you can always work that further if you like, but if you want to start to cool things off, bring yourself down onto your back and draw your knees into your chest. Just squeeze in for a moment. Now let's take a supine twist variation. So bring your left foot down to the floor. And then cross your right leg tightly over the left. So think of this as an eagle bind. Keep your legs squeezing. Bring the arms out wide, right and left, and keep your shoulders down. Now to move into the twist, tuck the left hip underneath you. Bring your knees down to the left side, and then look over to the right. Now keep your legs squeezing. Use the left leg to weight the right leg down. The stretch moves in the outer right hip and toward the low back. If you need more, you can use your left hand to press the knees further down. But just breathe with this.
Now take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, bring this back into center and reverse the cross your leg. So bring the right foot to the floor. Cross the left leg tightly over the right. Again, like an eagle bind. So tuck the right hip underneath you. Bring your knees down to the right side. Both shoulders down. Look over to the left. Now as your legs are squeezing, use the right leg to weight the left leg down. And if you need more, you can use that right hand to press the knees toward the floor. But find the stretch in the outer left hip toward your low back on this side. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, bring your knees back to center. Come back out of that twist. And bring your knees up to your chest side by side for a moment. Now, when you're ready, just release the left leg extended fully. Left arm down to your side. Right arm inside the right leg, take hold of the big toe. Once you got the toe, pull down. As you're pulling, extend the right leg up and push up with your foot. And as you're pulling and pushing, look for that stretch on the back of the right thigh. Once you feel it, just breathe into it. Now, if the right leg's straight, draw the big toe directly over your shoulder and maybe just stay here. And if you want to take this with an alternate grip, keep your right leg extended as is, but then bring the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Right arm comes down to your side. Keep that right shoulder down. And then draw the right foot across your body, keeping that leg extended. Just feel how it changes the stretch. And breathe here. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, bring both knees back in for a moment. And then once you're ready here, go ahead and extend the right leg fully, right arm down to your side. Left arm inside the left leg, take hold of the big toe. Once you got the grip, pull down. Now keep the left hip on the floor, press your left foot toward the ceiling. And as you're drawing down and pushing up, find that stretch in the back of the left leg, breathe into it. One, if you've got the leg straight, draw that big toe over your shoulder, just take it to where you can. And if you want that other grip, keep the left leg extended as is and bring the right hand to the outside edge of your left foot. Left arm down at your side and keep the left shoulder on the floor. Now draw that left foot across your body and again, just feel how that changes the stretch. Left shoulder still down. Just breathe into this. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, just release and bring both knees into your chest one more time. And let's take it to happy baby. Reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. Stack the ankles above the knees. Draw down on both sides. And as you're pulling down, press the feet back up in your hands at the same time. Keep the tension working both directions. Try to flatten your spine. And if you want to take it further, maybe rock a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, from wherever you are, take a deep inhale here. Draw down as much as you can. And then with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here and let your body settle down into the mat.
When you're ready, just let yourself move again here bit by bit, fingers and toes, arms and legs. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then pull everything in, draw the elbows toward your chest, bring your knees up as well. And just find your way up to a comfortable seat. And then ground yourself into the mat here, stack your spine. Bring your hands up to heart center. Take a deep inhale, hold on to at the top. And then just let everything go. I think you put on in class, namaste. No 